what drives me is being a role model. Being somebody that people perhaps look up to and think, well, I wish I could do that, or I want to be able to do that one day. Hopefully they get that from me. My teaching journey started after my degree. I did a degree in bio, sports and biomedical science. Um, I took a year out. I was doing a lot of basketball coaching at the time. And someone said to me, oh, you're really good with the kids. You should become a teacher. I never really thought about it before that, but I put my application to join the PGC course in Cardiff Met University and I was successful. And kind of started it right there, I guess. My timetable is heavily revolved around the vocational subjects, so I teach a lot of life skills, public services, pupils wanting to get into you know, the fire service, the police, the army, pupils trying to up their skills for applying for jobs, communication skills, self-confidence, things are really close to my heart. My journey has kind of changed. I was a trained as a PE teacher, but Obviously health and well-being is really important, but I think the skill side of, of, of school these days is massive, and even more so since the pandemic, I believe. At the moment, I'm absolutely loving, I've been doing it, this is my 16th year of teaching, I think, and I'm probably the most excited I've ever been. I played a lot of sports in school, but it was always the usual football and rugby. Luckily for me, I stumbled upon basketball, and I just loved it straight away. I can't do that. Touch your knees! Now that I'm getting older, I want to be able to offer the same opportunities to the younger generations. Tribal basketball actually teaches children from the age of two right the way to adults of, I think our eldest adult is 102. What I like to think sets us aside a little bit from everybody else is the way we focus on the life skills side of things rather than just the play in the game. The message about diversity would be, it's always been important, but I think it's, it's now very much out there. Things have changed a great deal, especially since I was in school. I was very much a minority in my school, even though I went to school in Cardiff, not too far from, from here where I am right now. And there wasn't anyone for me to really relate to within the staff. I didn't have any problems with that. I just didn't have anyone I could really go to that would understand perhaps where I was coming from. What's different now is that I'm I've got to a stage where I, I understand myself, how important it is for me to be almost a role model, I guess. Especially working in the heart of the valleys, I am an extreme minority in the school here, but I am very proud to be able to be a visual representative for the pupils in the school who may not get to see a black man very, very frequently. And it's, it's, it's that important. And I think the way that the new curriculum is going with health and well-being and mental health, and that all ties in because Diversity, inclusion is something that we are really celebrating in school at the moment. And I think it's not just this school, it's schools across the country. And just today we've had, you know, show racism and red card. Everyone has worn something red. We've posted on social media about it. We've got really into it. And this has never used to happen before. But now I think things are changing so much. I think in the situation I'm in as a teacher and that we don't have an impact on the, on the, on the younger generation in that way. And I think I'm so happy to be involved in, in, in such a way in the diversity and in, in the inclusion side of, of school as well and of, of my journey as an educator. I was also involved in the working group for the report by Professor Charlotte Williams on I'm changing, I'm making a more like new diverse curriculum, but in that we really focus on how are we going to get more teachers of colour into education in Wales and that is something that we are working hard to achieve by using people like myself as examples, I guess, uh, as role models to encourage you know, younger black men to come into the, into, the, into the profession because it is a great profession and you have a great chance to use your voice. And it's something I'm only learning as, as I'm getting older now. And I, I, I wish I'd learned this or been told this or had someone I could relate to when I was in my early 20s or an aspiring teacher. Someone to tell me, you should do this career, you'd be perfect, you, 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 you'd be a great role model. So I think it's, it, it's, it, there's steps to take and it's gonna be a long journey, but I'm, ha I'm so thrilled to be on that journey and, and, and making a difference. And I think you know, the next generation coming through are gonna do it even better than we're doing it.